Welcome back. We're here with the cast of The Young Doctors. Now, you may be surprised after looking at the old footage, but The Young Doctors had some major stars of the future passing through its wards, even an Oscar winner. Well, brace yourself for a very, very young Russell Crowe. Russell, it says here you were in the other night complaining of the same pain. Now, where did you say that pain was? I thought you said it was over here. Oh, yeah. There. Russell, is your mother here with you? No. Where is she? Is my dad. And where is your dad? Where he is every night. In the pub. She was good back then, wasn't he? Uh, very young in sight. <laughs> Uh, Russ wasn't the only big name to get a break on The Young Doctors. There's another Kiwi who did all right. He used to play the stern and scary Dr. John Forrest. His name is Alan Dale. All right, I've had enough of your excuses. As of now, Dr. Bailey's on the case. Get that file to him immediately. Dr. Duffield is competent and conscientious. Why wasn't he brought in if his patient was having problems? I realise you're the ADN sister, but I doubt that that gives you the right to question decisions made by the deputy superintendent. And this is the man who abuses people if they allow their personal problems to interfere with their work. Not exactly practising what you preach, are you, John? I don't need one of your lectures, Livingston. Well, he's kindly taken a break from his hit series, Ugly Betty, to join us on the satellite, live from Los Angeles. Please welcome Alan Dale. Alan, welcome. Good to see you. Now, now, Young Doctors was your first big break on Australian television. The show had already been on air for three years. Did you have any idea what you were getting yourself in for? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just arrived in, uh, in uh, Australia from New Zealand and, uh, I, you know, it was all... It was quite a ride, I must admit. And as it was when you were, you were at the hospital and you had plenty of nurses chasing after yes. Dr. Forrest, that must have been pretty tough no, in particular. No, I don't think... <laughs> Liz Kennedy. No, I don't think that they were. No, don't. Liz uh. Kennedy, yes. Um, <laughs> she wasn't chasing me, I was chasing her. Um, but nobody else really. He was so unpleasant. But he had a lot of hair, didn't he? <laughs> he had a lot more then. My greatest experience, really, the one that I remember most was the time that I had to come and... and uh, uh, Pick up Liz to go out for dinner, and, and we rehearsed the scene. And Rebecca and I it was just—we were just in ordinary clothes. And then she went away and got changed into what she was going to be wearing for the scene. But I didn't see her. And then I, I, so they said action, and I came to knock on the door. And of course they say you're not, not allowed to stop; you've got to keep going. So I knocked on the door, and she opened the door, and there she stood, and she was so breathtaking I couldn't talk. I just, I, I, it was the most embarrassing How thing. That still is. Yes, well, it wasn't sweet, it was embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, you and Alan yes. were married on the show. We were, but briefly. The but the marriage didn't last that long. It Did lasted, it, why? Uh, it wasn't even consummated, was it, Alan? Sadly. No, sweet. Um, no. I had. <laughs> <laughs> we got married, and then I stuck a plug in a switch and. She got electrocuted. I got oh. electrocuted. <laughs> yes, and I had hair a bit like yours yeah. then. For a moment yes, or two. Yes, darling. Yeah. Yes. Did all of you feel like you were working in a in a, a real hospital, or what was the set like? <laughs> <laughs> There's the answer, really, isn't well, it? Well, nothing <laughs> like that. No, no, <laughs> no. Little... When you shut when you shut the door, the whole ward the whole walls <laughs> shook. Yes, I mean, yes. And there was a lot really... of slamming of doors because it was very melodramatic yeah, shows. So... And there was no glass mm. in the in in the cupboards. They they didn't have glass, and sometimes I'd have to go and get a, a bandage out of the cupboard, and sometimes I'd forget to open the door and just put my hands <laughs> straight through. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Alan, about uh, your career because after Young Doctors, of course, you went on to Neighbours, and then. You packed your bags and headed for L.A. At the, at the young age of 50. Why? Why then? And I didn't tell anyone I was going either. There was no chance of me making it here, so I, just, I went very quietly, I can tell you. Um, just, well, just because I was getting old, you know, and it, it just worked out. I mean, I think a lot of people come and don't tell anybody, and it doesn't work out, but for me, I was lucky. Uh, well, certainly worked out. Mm. ER, 24, CSI, uh, the OC, now Ugly Betty. Um, what gave you your break in Hollywood? Well, it was, it was uh, playing a South African in uh, Eeyore when I had the very bad beck. And, uh, <laughs> and I just did my Tony Gregg imitation. And they loved it, you know, so, so, that, so... So there is I hope for Ugly Dave Gray, maybe to make a career over there? 
I think it's a definite. I mean, it certainly fit in with Ugly Betty. <laughs> Speaking of Ugly Betty, I mean, that's hugely successful. Is there anything that you learn from the young doctors that you've taken to that set? I think they quite like the, the work ethic, you know, the, uh, that we bring to, to work in America. And, um, yeah, so uh, I think that's the big thing. Now, you're married to a former Miss Australia, Tracy Pearson, who's living in L.A. with you as well. How's she enjoying it over there and what's she doing? She's actually, uh, she's actually produced a very beautiful range of, uh, of handmade greeting cards that she, that she works on. And we actually ended up buying quite a lot of... Um, I'm a slum landlord, and um, she has to sort of handle all that sort of paperwork and stuff too, because I'm creative. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to come home? I would like to have come home for this, but I wasn't able to get out of the, uh, doing the show. I, I can't see the, there's no work. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay here. Oh, look, you've got a lot of work there. Congratulations on all that you've Thanks. done. A lot of Thanks, the audience gosh. here would have uh, seen you in the OC and now follow you in Ugly Betty. Alan, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thanks. What do you think? Alan Dahl in LA and the rest of the cast from The Young Doctors.